always and fingers as always. Everyone else in between, Nintendo Sony Freak 2011 is here, aka Manny Morverine. And you guys on Rest Intros and Natural Swords, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Bitchy Brady on and Parlor, just in case anything happens to this place. Anyways, <clears throat> I've been wanting to talk about this for almost two and a half weeks. I actually heard about it two days ago, but that's weird because I heard everyone else so two and a half weeks ago, two days ago. I don't know. Forget it. It is what it is. Ugh. The, 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 this crap right here annoys the absolute hell out of me. It's a lot more censorship and a lot more totalitarian garbage that's going on in this, not just the country, but in the rest of the world. And I will probably put a link in the description box to this video here, man. My boy Brian, aka High Impact TV Vlogs, man. He just went off on this interview. It's amazing, too. Unless he's a shill. I hope he's not no Alex Jones shill or Martin Dice, because he is, that sucks. Anyways, it says on popular anime in Japanese Prime, known as Sentai, is banned in Australia because it depicts bad images of kids and those other words I can't say because <laughs> you know how YouTube is with that, unfortunately. I like to be very, very strict about that shit. So I, I don't want to get a claim or strike, but I have to do that. Say it like that. Australia Borders Defense, wow, has blocked any Sentai prawn in Japan. Some explicit content depicts sexual, sensualized images of you-know-what and all that. Al Camino Man 52 was suspended, given a suspended in jail sentence for anime images in 2015. The man's 300 plus images in case, oh wow, if it was real, then that's real, real bad if it's actual CP. And I can't like show the picture on the bottom, so I'm to scan it really fast. <laughs> Comes from Andrew Princeton. Princess from um Daily Mail. I haven't heard anything from Daily Mail in like two years. Anyways, um, let's move on. Popular Japanese form of anime Japanese prawn has been banned in Australia due to his depictions of that and that. I'll leave the link to the anime man's video in the description box down below. He only posted it like two days ago, so I'll leave the link down there. That's how I found out about this thing. Which I've been hearing about this. I think the other dude, Mr. Sterling, Sterling Griff, I heard about it in like March, April. I did a video on that a couple months back. There's an update to it. That was like eight, nine months ago. It was a while back. The Australian Border Forces has stepped in recently after a number of imported Sentai images of ticked of bad um, allegations, including sensualized abuse. Leading the Japanese adult retailer j in a statement, Online earlier this month, claiming that the Australian border forces and customers block all of their adult products from entering the country, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? And Australia gets way too much fucking censors. They did it with GTA and then did it with the Fallout 76 game. And a lot of their games get fucking banned like crazy. I don't know if it's a lot of fake Catholic and Christian bullshit over there. That's. All this fake religious bull crap over there is a lot more stronger out there than it is out here in the U.S. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of ignorant, dumbass mother efforts out here too. But man, you Aussies out over there, man. If any people I am listening from New Zealand, Australia, you got to step your shit up, man. Honestly, you got a way more worse, stricter government out there than we do here. Anyways, um, hopefully I can yep, get through that picture really quick because I really don't want to see that one. I mean, I don't want to mind it, but still. Uh, so it says DHL Japan has called us last week, informing that Australia and Customs have started rejecting packages and containing any adult products. The company said in a statement, they have then advised us to stop sending us special, or excuse me, adult products in this country. Following the week, the current Australian orders with adult items were returning for us this week. Early this year, several South Australian politicians called for an urgent review of the National Federation's classification laws after discovering that there's a number of comic books and videos being sold in Australia showing highly sensualized images of kids including some of real bad allegations that word and real bad fighting abuse also goes on to say a shocked Connie Bonner oh, I've heard of this bitch before absolute disgusting ass cunt piece of garbage man. it's one of those Karens that are absolute Garbage. I hate using that word, Karen, because I know it's a psyop, psychological operation, controlled opposition, social engineering, Illuminati crap. But I have to use it there. South Australian's best upper house MP. I don't know what that is because I don't care about politics. And number two, I don't live out there. But the content of minors is absolutely endless. <clears throat> in 2015, a 52 year old man, Adelaide, was given a suspended 
sentence for having more than 300 anime images is CP. During the sentences, Judge Paul Muscat noticed or noted, although that the man that he was thought that he was doing a similar reading, taking part of a fantasy rather than contributing to a production of s exploits material, was not such a great step from the viewing of the material of actual real life. That word, I really, really want to say that word, but I can't. And that's that's just tame shit. I've seen a few of these things. I've never seen any, like, lowly stuff, but I've seen a lot of these MILF ones. My God. <laughs> Some of them is nice. I'm not going to lie. Some of it, not all. But the younger one, it's just a fake fictional character fantasy thing. It's not even a real, actual, physical person. These fucking boomers have no idea what the hell they're talking about. I hate to be a judgmental asshole, but a lot of these people are 50s and are 60s and none. They have no idea what anime otaku culture is about. I've been around this shit since I was, like, probably six, seven years old. Back in the mid late nineties, early two thousands, like I've been in this thing for a long ass time. Even in my middle school, high school, I used to fap out to a bunch of hentai stuff. Not to the lowly stuff, but a lot of the mill stuff and some of the incest stuff. Not all of it, but some. And I used to fap out to a lot of furry shit, but that's a. <laughs> I still fapped out to real life prom, but it wasn't as good. Well, let's move on. And that's been like twelve years. The last time I did it, thirteen. Does it matter that most of these images? Through access through the internet or anime or limited assessment, it must be for actual kids who are being sensualized and abused. Judge Musket said. However, I previously observed the concern and concern is that those who view the anime will go on a view of a, images of actual kids being abused. Daily Mail Australia has contacted the ABF for a comment. <clears throat> Share or comment the article below. Da, 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 da. Yeah, overall thoughts, these and opinions is a lot of these old boomers. They have no idea what freaking anime culture is. It's, it's a freaking 2D thing that's on an eraser and a pencil, man. And they want to think, oh, these are real kids that are getting hurt and they're getting human traffic and all this other evil shit. No, it's not even that, man. I mean, unfortunately, yeah, shit like that does happen in real life, but it's a fake fictional fantasy of escapism with the other thing. You know, I don't believe in escapism. It's like a level of immersiveness. Like, look at all the visual novels for anime. That's like one of the best things I've seen. I mean, the last two animes I saw was like almost three and a half years old. It was like, it was Dong and Ropa 3. And then Dr. Stone from last year. I finished watching last month. Real, real good shit. And I'm still like episode four of this thing. Demon Slayer. <laughs> it's a lot of crazy ass blood and gore and shit in there. But man, the voice acting is amazing. They don't see it as a form of art. It's entertainment. It's fucking entertainment, you freaking idiot old politician dumb shits, man. This is the same thing that happened in the 90s when all these people wanted to ban Doom and Mortal Kombat and Grand Theft Auto 3, oh my god, and Call of Duty and all this shit. No. <clears throat> I said this in my chat and breeze, I think, a year or two ago. And the NBC and CBS and ABC, they try to do that stuff out here and ban everything from GTA 5. They're like, oh, this is so abusive and so offensive. This is freaking bullshit, man, honestly. It's the same thing with other thing, like in the 90s, early 2000s, when I know I was like four or five years old, maybe six, with the Tupac and Biggie stuff. They tried to like ban all this stuff. Oh, because that cursing profanity is just a freaking their way of expression poetry, but in a rap and hip hop style. And that shit pissed me the hell off, man. It's absolutely disgusting what this Bilderberg Illuminati government tries to censor. It's freaking bullcrap. Now, anyways, let's move on to this. Oh, I had two other stories I'm going to be doing in my future videos, if any people want to, like, check it out. Oh, I did hear um, <laughs> YouTube yesterday. Thank God I don't post videos Wednesdays and Thursdays, because um, they said they shut down for, like, a half hour. I was having a lot of problems watching these videos on um, alternative media truth or news. My boy, High Impact, Impact Laws, R&B, Richard from Boston, and another dude. Um, KJ Osborne, Seven Grains of Salt, all these people, man, they're great. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I had a pizza delivered me earlier from Little Caesars. I totally forgot that thing was even coming. My bad, so mega apologies on that. It's not expected now. It was two hours ago. I completely forgot that I ordered that shit. Yeah, so my next two future videos will be YouTube says everything is working again after a user experience of worldwide power outage after an hour. This other one, this future video tomorrow is waiting on Friday or Saturday when I do it. It's about actor comedian Aquafina rapper she promotes a new Nintendo Switch commercial 
<laughs> tweet away from that. Just stay on the lookout for those future videos, but let's get on to the verge. Microsoft, please do not blow vape smoke in your Xbox Series X. Learning that trolls seem to be faking Xbox Series X problem memes. This is only the other day. This is a lot more recent. Microsoft's latest. And I started talking lower again because my room I sleep in the background, so in the next room. I totally forgot about that shit. <laughs> Microsoft's latest next-gen console, the Xbox Series X, along with smaller cousin, the Xbox Series X, has arrived. And when it comes to a whole bunch of internet con artists trying to meme into believing that the console is plagued with terrible issues, you might, you for example, have seen the clips pass around the internet for showcasing the Xbox Series X literally smoking. Posts would have believed that the blazing graphics of the Xbox Series X are demanding so they can use to catch fire, but in reality is much more simpler than the spontaneous bursting in the flames. What actually appears to be happening is that the pipe being vape smoked in the $500 console giving off the appearance of a fire to troll social media fans comes from Nibble. Gotta get a shout out, so it does do to you a little quick video here. Seeing people spread the video of the Xbox Series X while smoking come out is just vape smoke. It's the vape meme. Do you vape your vape nation with Vaporia? <laughs> oh man, so I'll leave the link to the video in the search box below. Please note this is probably isn't a great idea to intentionally fill your brand new console with water vapor for what I hope obviously for a reason the meme has gone too far enough that Microsoft had dignified it with a response to official Microsoft full spill big daddy Phil Spencer said it. Can't believe we had to say this, but please do not blow vape smoke in your Xbox Series X. The hoax is vague, publicized, plausible. Microsoft did a deal with the Red Ring of Death issue back in Xbox 360 days over a decade and a half ago. Oh my god, I remember that. It was like a sophomore, junior, senior when that happened back in the day in high school. And the idea of God just catching on fires and completely unheard of. For example, Ring just recalls some of the doorbells today and their infamous Samsung Galaxy House debacle that the entire product got recalled and removed from the market. Due to concerns that catching fire by gadgets tend to ignite, typically battery powered, with a fire risk usually coming from onboard batteries. Abroad batteries, I think they said. Not something that you have to worry about with the Xbox Series X console. Apparently it was fake. Similarly, another viral post has gone around claiming that the Xbox Series X is so powerful that the draft procedures can suspend ping pong balls in the midair and console. I didn't hear about that. Like a connect sculpture. Oh, excuse me. Here, too, is some of the actual science that makes this plausible. You might even see a similar demo in the middle of the school science class where a higher dryer is used to levitate a ping pong ball thanks to the physics, specifically Bernelli's principle, which describes the relationship between speed and pressure of a fluid flow. And while the science is real, it's, it's fake to me, it's like atheism, just saying. And does work with some of the pushes as fast as a hair dryer. Unfortunately, it does seem that the Xbox Series X fan size, sizable though it may be actually put out in the airspeed, needs to suspend the ball. Given how new the Xbox Series X is, possible that some issues might crop up. Just like any other new piece of hardware, this appears to be some isolated instance of this driver issues. For example, but to any other viral hoax on the internet, it's always good to take reports or problems with unhealthy grains of salt, no matter how compelling. They sound. I did a 638, so it's earlier today or yesterday. Your overall thoughts, these opinions, these trolls, I don't know if it's 4chan, Reddit, and even Parlor, Twitter. They started posting up all these fake, like, things of the Xbox Series as catching white smoke. I heard that some of the screws came out in the Taco Bell Xbox Series 1 X. So I don't know if that's real or fake, that these giant screws came out of the bottom part of the console. Thank God I'm not getting that, and I'm getting a PS5 next year, June, July. <laughs> I should wait about six or eight months before getting a console, because things are a hefty bargain, a real huge financial investment to get into. So, all guys, get safe for now. Shout out to Nibble for um, Nibel for posting this out, and that's it. Links to description box down below. Cartoon sound done. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and fangirls, and as always, I'll talk with Nikki Komodos. I'll see you when I see you guys every night, wherever you're at in the universe out there. Stay tuned for future content, channel, including video game industry news, and anime manga news, internet news, Twitch for your drama news, um, anime industry news, and that's it. Take it easy. Peace out. My shower part, lazing by. See you in the flip side. See you, deuces. See you guys soon. Goodbye.